Hey guys, so this here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Clive to Buster. We return in promotion series to Diamond 3. Yay! Maybe we can escape the clutches of Diamond 4. Um, but yeah, we're in promo. We got mid lane again. Again, because I'm lower down the list, we're going to ban Nico. I'd love to play her more, but, you know, she should be a permanent ban at the moment. Uh, when I played her a few games ago, I, you know, the enemy team definitely regretted letting me have that pick. Uh, with how strong we were. So, yeah, let's not uh, let us not let us be the receiving end of a Nico at the moment. Until she gets, like, a couple nerfs. Which is inevitable. So, yeah. Okay. Kali is not banned. Shaco. So, this, this Evelyn banned Shaco. Is Shaco good into Evelyn or something? Don't know why... Like, I didn't, I don't know what to do. Alright, we're against an Ari. That could be Twitch jungle. Possibly. Ooh, I think I know what I'm going to do already with our team comp. We did it a few days ago, but on the other account. And I actually want to test it in high rating. We're going to go Galio. Because again, his damage seems quite good now. Uh, but you're still really tanky. So you're you're tanky, but good damage. And also look at our comp. When Evelyn is near the middle of a team fight and she stealths in, I can ult on top of her preemptively and just land into the middle of, the, of a team fight. Yeah. I think that would work really well, actually. I like the idea. Uh, also, just as a little thing, um, I probably should have mentioned this a few days ago, but I, I forgot. Um... If you guys uh, follow the, if you're on Twitter at least, then maybe the Facebook page, maybe the Instagram um, of the Riot, um, the Riot UK. Uh, let's also go to a better skin, shall we? Uh, let's go Hextech. I think that one, or should we go Gatekeeper? Or Debonair? Let's go Debonair. It looks suave. Uh, but anyway, on the Riot UK um, social media pages, they would have launched a video. Uh, that I was in, um, of Nico plays. So it's like me and like three or four other uh, lol partners from the UK. They got some of our clips of playing Nico for the first time, and they put them into a video. Um, I did my one is like I'm jungling as Nico, and I made the gank work, and I was like, that's how you jungle as Nico. So yeah, feel free to go give that a watch. I retweeted it on my Twitter, so that's how you can find it. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the game. We're playing uh, Galio in the mid lane. All right, welcome to the loading screen stats. So as you can see, it's like a diamond four, diamond three type game, like half and half relatively, but we're in promo. Um, win rates and that. Again, my win rate is actually slightly negative on Galio, but my KDA, obviously, is more inclined to assists than it is to kills because that's what old Galio playstyle was. But recently, they've changed him, so I do want to try and get more kills now. Uh, but yeah, slightly negative, but positive, positive, positive. Enemy team, positive, potentially a smurf of some, of some kind. Uh, neutral, but with a lot of games. Uh, slightly positive, positive and uh, neutral. So we'll see how this game goes. I don't think either team comp has a outright advantage. If anything, I actually do like our team comp, a Shen and a Galio versus like Riven and Twitch. That's a big counter to them in team fights in late game. If we get onto them and taunt them and then my team like an Evelyn can one shot the Twitch. So hopefully we'll be fine. So without much further ado, let's get into it. We're playing Galio in the mid lane. All right, welcome to the game. Today we're playing Galio in the mid lane. Uh, so again, Galio got buffed recently. We did a video on the leveling account a few days ago, and I was like pointing out, hey, the damage isn't bad. But that game we were against from memory, like a Nidley that really didn't know what she was doing. Again, a Nidley in mid lane was weird. Um, and we were kind of like equating our power to the Draven who was fed on the enemy team. And I, I did feel strong compared to the fed Draven as Galio mid. But this game will obviously be a much better uh, judge on how well Galio is. Um, because we're against people the same level as me and everybody in the game is the same level. So it's not like I'm against like a silver niddly mid and then it's just a diamond draven. It's like, no, everybody's the same. So yeah. And again, I like our team comp uh, quite a bit. Like Riven jumps on us. I ult on whoever she jumps on. Unless she jumps on me, then I taunt her. Then Shen ults me. Um, so like whoever like the enemy go on to one shot them, if be both me and Shen uh, jump on them, I think they'll be okay. I don't think they're gonna die. So yeah. 
uh goku says in chat damn it huzzy the uk nico vid that i mentioned uh had the gank of you, me me ganking you and rakat yep it was that clip it was a good clip because it was literally pointing out how you gank as jungle nico Oh, try bush cheese. Try bush cheese. Why is the jungler not helping? I don't know. She really should have stopped doing. Um... Uh, she really should have stopped doing the Krogs. I hope that Shen is paying attention, man. I'm a bit worried. I'm still worried about that Shen so much. I just think he's like, it doesn't think that Twitch is going to go top. I'm guessing Twitch has taken her blue. The Evelyns. Um, we're just going to like ping careful and Twitch. Okay, there he is. He has got blue. He took a blue. That's just obvious. Oh, well. Okay, how's bot lane doing? So they're a little bit behind because of the cheese in Tribush. Mid lane, we're even. Top lane's behind and jungle's definitely behind now with the buff being stolen. You see my damage then? Legit nearly killed the Ari. <laughs> Crazy. Absolutely nutty. Nutty damage. I might be able to kill the Twitch there if I left the Ari alone quicker and then flashed on the Twitch. But obviously he does have flash up still. Himself. So it wouldn't have been free. Go on, Shenny boy! Nah. Nah, 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 nah. That's really good, Claire. Again, when you're playing against something like a Twitch jungle, by the way, the way that you get vision of them, because whenever they're coming to gank, they're going to hide, obviously. They don't want to be seen before they go in for a gank. Um, put wards in places that they wouldn't really think there'd be a ward. Like here, if we see Twitch walking this way, well, then you know where he is, at least. That's how you do it. It's the same against Evelyn's when they're level six. You just put... put well, actually, it doesn't... Well, Evelyn's are slightly different. Evelyn, you put them on the camps. So when she's fighting a jungle camp, at least you know which jungle camp she's on. Um, but yeah, with Twitch, you just put it at random places like entrances to the, the enemy jungle if you can. First. Damn. I knew First Blood was going to happen eventually. Damn, so close. I was really wanting it in mid lane, but we haven't been able to. So I want to see if Ari was, is going to try and stop me. Okay. We're doing pretty well. We're technically beating an Ari slightly. That's always good. Again, Ari's supposed to kind of lane bully. And she's not at all. We're kind of bullying her, if anything. Um, we're actually going to go the slightly more carry orientated build as well. That's obviously because of all the changes of Galio recently. You do want to build more damage on him because he scales better with damage. Um, so we are going to go a Ludens. Don't go yet.
You went too early. Too early. Oh, holy moly. If he was just patient, he would have lived and we would have killed her. But he was really impatient and now he's just like ruined his lane. That really sucks for us. Patience is a virtue, as they say. Oh no, our bot lane's getting wrecked now too. Yeah, it's always in promo that, you know, you do well until the promo. The promo comes and then everything goes to poop. Your, your team just starts feeding like crazy. So it's the classic. The absolute classic. Like, is she going to get dove? No. We won the NA giveaway last week. Uh, we've sent all prizes out. Of ah, uh, if I trusted her a bit more, I would have gone for the flash play there. Damn. Yeah, I don't have anything that I trust with the Evelyn right now. Like she hasn't proved. It's like she's literally done nothing in the game, so I, there's no trust yet. Okay, that was, we uh, we definitely need our uh, Evelyn to actually try and do something. That is just insane damage. Like if someone was with me, dead. But like they back off at the wrong time. <whistles> Nuts. And all we had there, we nearly one-shot the Lulu, and all we have is a lost chapter. Oh! Nice, Shen. Again, the funny thing is, when sometimes, like, junglers are ganking near a tower, people get so desperate to go for, a, like, the kill, because you're, like, you're two against one. Um... And sometimes you just muck it up completely. Happens quite frequently. Because, like, it, pressure gets added when you're, like, having your jungler go for a gank, too. Like, why didn't Varus' ult... If they ulted instantly there, that would have been three. Ooh, this Varus seems pretty bad. Like, he could have ulted in that bush, and they could have gone for a lot of return blow damage, but he just stood there. Range is a thing. Great pointing out. It's like, yes, I've got ultimate, but I can't ult from the other side of the map. That's probably Dragon if she's going there. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum. It's like we haven't seen the Twitch, by the way, in ages. Weird. Maybe it's just power farming. I was kind of hoping she'd run away, if I'm honest. Oh, mid. oh, lovely. People like that Varus are the type of people that 
they don't want to win the games. They're just here to make people annoyed. That's the enjoyment that they get, is knowing other people are annoyed because of them. It's sad, but those people do exist because they just have nothing else going for them. Oh no, the right have already announced that everything I think is different with Kale, more or less. I think that was that's been a known thing for ages. Varus Alt now. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he's also killed. He's got 300... Oh my... That Varus has got addiction problems. He's got over 2,000 ranked games played. God, when I see that... I know like, some people think like... Oh, don't think that way. But I, I really get worried about people when I see over 2,000 ranked games played in one season. That's worrying. That's really worrying. Because... When you work out the time of like how many games that is per day, it's like six or seven games every day, seven days a week. It's crazy. And you know, it's one thing for let's say someone like Cutie Pie doing it, who streams for a living. It's another thing if it's just a hobby. And yeah, like usually the people with that many games are the ones that are like are very toxic, for sure. Because it's like the biggest thing that they've got in their life and when it's going bad, they feel like their life is going bad. It's a bit worrying. But yeah, our Evelyn still hasn't done anything positive in the game, but neither have I. Ari's done... Like, again, I've looked for things in top lane or I've been out of range with ultimate, which is a bit unlucky. Like, Shen died once when I was going to go for a play because he just went too soon and he killed himself because he went too uh, like in early. I was like, that's annoying. Because that would have been a dead um, that would have been a dead Riven and an alive Shen, for sure. That damage is really good. All right. Apparently, Morgana and Kale are also not going to be hostile to each other anymore. All right. Well, they're going to unify the angels of League of Legends. Uh, she went Essence Reaver. It's all about cooldown reduction with that Riven build. How much? Again, she's got the clan tag Fiora, so she's probably a Fiora player. That is experimenting with Riven. Yeah, so she's got 42 games of Riven, but she's played 160. So she's probably a Riven main, um, a Fiora main. But obviously they're in the kind of same band of champion Riven Fiora. So kind of makes sense. Both sword duelists. So the Shen asked for a swap and the Varus has said no, which is really dumb. But you don't expect someone like the Varus to understand the basics. Because now he's probably just going to get himself killed because he doesn't want to swap. Because he is smart. He's a smart boy. I'm going to say no because I'm in promo. game uh, it is kind of a stomp but there's a very small chance it's winnable if we actually start working together we just need people to start doing things Uh, Cran Lirio. Thank you much, dude. Welcome, welcome. Even as going full damage with Ludens, I'm actually pretty damn tanky. It's surprising. Ooh. 
Uh, well done, bot lane. Loose, uh, Varus didn't even get an assist. Not surprised. Your turret has been destroyed. Bum ba da dum, bum ba da dum, bum ba dum, bum ba da dum. We'll have to win the next two games. It's doable. Definitely doable. Yay. Oh my god, her health. Boom. Boom. Like, yeah, they're really squishy, and our team comp technically does well versus theirs. It's just we lost bot lane really badly. Top lane was always going to lose a little bit, and then mid lane, you're, you know, I'm a Galio. Yes, he did get some changes, but he's still not, like, an early game monster. He takes a while to ramp up. Wait, where's the Evelyn? Evelyn? What? She just walked. Okay. I don't know if that was my mistake, but Evelyn just completely ignored everything. So, okay. Fair enough. My bad, I guess. Oh, now she's dead anyway. Oh, God. Yikes. This game is a bit of a bummer compared to the last two, for sure. Ugh. And again, the two people that are arguably letting down the side the most, like Karma, I don't know, she was given this guy. But like, these two people have played their champions the most out of all, our whole team. So it's like... Oh dear. Get up in time. And they're really squishy. I just don't think the Evelyn knows Evelyn, even though she's got 300 games on the champ. And, uh, yeah. We've just lost all momentum everywhere. Shawarma, shawarma aholics. That's the thing from the Avengers movie. I walked downstairs earlier today, and my like uh, half an hour ago, and my dad's watching the first Avengers film. I'm like, why are you watching this? He's like, I don't remember any of it. I'm like, oh. Eesh. Riven. Sadly, we just had didn't have any control at all. I guess this shows that Huzzy is right. Just because you have an insane number of games on the champ doesn't mean you're going to. Well, obviously, no. That, that's an obvious thing. Again, some of um. If you there one, there's a few websites out there that show like people that play an insane amount of their champions. The, the majority of those people that play insane amount of their champions are still in bronze or silver. Like, amount of games played does not equal good. If I had backup, I'd go on them, but.
Ooh, really? Oh, questionable. What type of play is that? I don't even know what my team are trying to do, like even attempt to do. The Vara Assault was over the wall to an Ari that nobody could get to. Oh. I think I, I should have back up there. Nope. Ay ay ay. He did that well, he got the in him. Was worth it for him. Like I'm starting to actually get quite strong, which is the annoying thing. Hmm. I'm honestly hoping that the enemy team attempts to do barrel or something, because that's like a way that we can get back in. Is like get some like get. Evelyn in the middle of it and put a Shen ultimate and a Galio on top. But that might be a really good way back in, but I don't know if like the enemy team are even gonna like attempt a Baron, because they don't need it. That they don't they hundred percent don't need to do the Baron. Not really. Ugh! This virus is so bad. It might be not like, either it's not his account or he's boosted, because that's the way it feels. Cause holy moly. Just feels like he has no idea what's going on. Again, I'm doing damage. Uh oh. See? Look at our comp different. Our comp is better than theirs. It's I've been saying this the whole game. Our, our comp is better. It's just people lost lanes, like bot lane especially, lost lanes so hard. It's just been an uphill battle the whole game. Damn, we lost the base tower though. Wait, did Varus? Yeah. Varus ignored the base tower to go for farming mid. Uh, Again, it's a tough game. It's one of the ones that I still might upload because it is highlighting good play. Like, it's good play. It's like interesting play that there's a lot of education in it. That sometimes you need to recognize like, what I would have wanted if you're like, what would what would I love to be different? Um, basically, is that my bot lane needed to recognize that we it was a ticking time bomb for our comp to be better than theirs because it just simply is and not risk anything in lane phase. But they kept risking things by pushing out too far and kept getting ganked over and over. Don't risk it. Just wait. Be patient. Uh, if that simple, if that was the one change, like if that only one thing was different, we would have much stronger Varus by now, and like a less strong bot lane, a less strong Twitch, pretty much a less strong enemy team in general. Riven's insanely strong now, though. Which I don't know if we can deal with. Again, our comp is better. But obviously, what in solo queue especially, what is better than being a, a good comp? Being fed. So. Yeah. Well, again, I don't have any armor against the Riven. So I am going to go pop. Pop goes the Galio. Um. Do that. Oh. Can't even get the pick on a Lulu. Yikes. Bow. 
Doesn't even look like the Shen even taught me. Oh well, again, I might still upload this because it does show a, like a couple interesting things. Um, it do again, I would say Galio does feel quite good. It just there's nothing I could have done in this game, really. Um, in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, again, our team kind of gave up. The virus was being toxic and all this type of thing and smiling instead of actually trying. Like, I think people gave up. If they didn't give up or they played better... I think this game was definitely winnable because our comp was better. You saw glimmers of that with when, you know, in mid-late game that me and Shen got taunts and stuff. Our comp is better. It just, we lost lane phase so badly that I just don't think we could have dealt with it. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's unfortunate, but it's still a good game. Kind of. Uh, 4 five, seven. Uh, We got one loss, obviously. We got a A- minus and damage done doing... <laughs> As Galio mid, the clear, like, double damage, nearly, of everybody on my team. Like, the Karma support is second. There's our jungler. And they're, like, as I said, these two, the Avaris and the Evelyn, had the most games played on their champions in our team. And they were performing the worst. Like, that's why it's always been the amount of games played never equals if you're good or bad. Ever. Um, like, the Shen, again, you're, it's like, oh, look at the Shen to the Riven. Again, th how those champions work. Obviously, a Riven's going to do more than the Shen. Shen is there in top lane to be a protector to people like Avaris, but if the Varus is not doing anything, then what the hell is the point of the Shen? Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.